the knee pad is back on my radar. Before we looked at how we could use the knee pad as a controller together with the knee bar to control functionality of your bar within your meeting room, today we're going to look at another aspect of this dual purpose device. It can also be used as a room booking panel, show the availability of the room and a bunch of other functions and features. I'm Paul Bloom and this is in my humble opinion. Right, I've got the knee pad on my desk over here. I've powered it up by means of the single power over ethernet cable. Uh, and there you go, it's powering up nicely. Now, while it's doing that, I'll just peel off this cover over here. The unit itself, as we're going along, I'll tell you about the unit. The unit itself has an eight inch display. Of course, the display is a touch display, as you would expect. It's got some LED status indicators, which we'll look at a little bit later. And there are some other parts of it that won't really be in use as a room um, panel on the outside of a room potentially. So we'll just let it go through its little boot cycle and um, it'll come up then with first time use. I'm going to choose English over there and uh, just click on continue. And now I get to choose how I would like to use this uh, neat pad. So I'm going to add it as a scheduling display, hit continue. It gives me the option now, how would you like to mount this? Do you want to wall mount it or do you want to side mount it on a, on a little bracket? And uh, that's important because it depends on, you know, which functionality uh, within the lights and so on is needed. What I really like about how NEAT does this is they go through exactly everything you need, every little bit show you how to connect the cable, show you how to use uh, the uh, bracket over there if you want to have it at an angle. And if you didn't know how to use an Allen key to put the screws in, there you go. It's exactly how it's done. You'd be very hard pressed to get this wrong, right? There's the, uh, the wall mounting bracket and you just put that on the wall like so. I'm not going to do uh, that in this case, of course, because this is about demoing the paper capability and that's how you clip the unit in and then you just tighten it from the bottom of course if you wanted to take it off the same is true click next and it is essentially configured uh, in terms of being used as a neat pad so what we need to do next is just do some customization so first thing we'll do is choose a time zone just change the time zone right here and just have to scroll through I'm gonna go with London there you go and continue. Now, first things first, it says, hey, look, there's an update for this unit. I'm going to fast forward right past that. There's no point in showing you how to do an update because it just sits there taking time, downloading, applying. So there you go. Uh, fast forward for your convenience, which is really cool. First time start. It starts off with the latest update. That's, uh, that's good practice. I like that. As we're booting up once again, our unit will spring to life, uh, go through numerous uh, checks and balances, doing a little bit of encryption, making sure it's all good. Now, remember, at this point in time, we haven't in put any credentials in for the room. So that's what needs to happen next. Just let the unit start up one more time. Do you want to be part of the analytics program? Again, that's up to you. I like to join those programs because it helps to make the unit, uh, you know, improvements in software and collect data of you know, issues and so on. Just hit the continue there. Again, this unit certified for Teams and for Zoom. We're going to go with Teams because that's how we roll and hit continue. It's interesting. So uh, again, I've just sped that up a little bit for your convenience. It's installed the Teams client. So out of the box, based on choosing Teams or Zoom, it'll install the appropriate client. I'll just launch that now. And, and again, you will notice now as it starts up with the Teams client, it's going to go through that device logon process, the procedure that I love so much that just use your, uh, your companion mode, your, you know, your, your device of whatever sort, mobile computer to log in there. I'm going to use those credentials in a moment. Just pop those into my device in the back. And now while I'm doing that, it'll come back, do a registration. I've sped that up for your convenience again. And there we go. The room is up and running and ready to rock and roll. Let's just have a look at the settings real quick. Go to device settings. Let's see what else we can do for the system. We can change the contrast. We can make the text larger, uh, which is really handy. Uh, 
I'll just switch it over, see how that changes. Yeah, it's made the text uh, quite a bit bigger, which is quite handy. We'll just back out of that ever so slightly. Some other information you might want there. We've already done an update, so um, we're on the stable channel. There is a like a preview channel as well, if you so wish to be on the latest and greatest. Uh, but bear in mind that, you know, on the latest um, non-stable release, you may have some stability issues. This is room status indicator setting over there that you can see. And that is the LEDs on the side. We'll just have a look at that real quick. Can go brighter with that. You'll see my hand there. I've got the red uh, so you can see it's uh, reflecting off my hand. Uh, I might just turn it over so you can see that light. So that's the status indicator and it'll be green of course if it's available and red if it's booked. I might just change the brightness. You can see it goes all the way down and then uh, all the way to bright again. I like that you can change that. That's really cool. Let's just reserve the meeting on the fly making use of uh, the panel. We've just grabbed a 15 minute slot over there. Now, interestingly, what happens in the back end is it actually pops in that uh, meeting in the calendar of the HPC room account in this case. So if somebody were to go and try and send a meeting invite to it right now, there'd actually be an entry in there that's blocked it out. So that is the neat pad. It's a great unit. It's a great price point. I love how it's there's just a single cable PoE powered. Um, if you want to run it on power and then have it connect to Wi-Fi, that's an option as well. It doesn't need anything special. And do you know you can actually buy a neat pad for your room booking solution as a standalone unit. It does not have to be associated with any other gear. So if you've put in some other hardware in your room, perhaps a brand that doesn't have a booking panel, or you just like to refresh your booking panels and you're quite fancy neat as an option, you can go ahead. There's no relationship that's needed between your booking panel and the other hardware within the room. Although you could roll your own by using a tablet, repurposing perhaps an iPad or a Samsung tablet or something like that, it's just not the same. It's fiddly. There's uh, always going to be some updates and issues to look after. There's swelling batteries, all sorts. Don't do it. These things are seriously well priced. Go buy yourself a room booking panel. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you the next time on In My Humble Opinion.